Okay, so uh, just a little, this is near the Golden Temple. Um, almost looks like I'm in a hospital bed here, a little hotel hospital bed, which has kind of been that way um, for the last, almost going on three weeks now. Um, <laughs> what a journey, what a journey. Um, I don't even know where to start. I just wanted to touch base. I have um, so many changes and revelations and and um, I have to say this is like I'm in a completely different world a completely different time and space I, I, I just don't know I don't have much referencing from the past for what I'm both contending with and now want to uh, create um, because the the changes I mean this is the changes over the whole world the changes in humanity heck the changes in our solar system you know <gasps> accelerating oh my god and so um, uh, and how would I, how would I, you know, being dealt a, um, you know, a series of attacks, really, and um, I wouldn't even call them setbacks. Those, they were just straight up violent attacks where I was ambushed. I, I just, I think that that word pretty much um, encapsulates the experience over these last like three weeks. Um, hmm. Ooh, it's changed so much and I have to say that where I fell on my hip like a week or so or a few days before the ambush happened that also like broke open a lot of energies and dislodged a lot of old stuff and then going through what I've gone through these last few weeks um Jesus talk about tearing the tower down and the old structures and everything. But within me, within me, it's just, you know, as, as I've had a little bit of time to let, like, the shock, you know, kind of wear off and, and the cognitive dissonance and and the, the disorientation and and obviously the pain, both emotional and physical, and the, the doubt, and all of those things that go on, the grief about what happened, and the, the rage about the injustice, and, and a lot of things that, you know, I've been <laughs> preparing for and very carefully putting aside over these last couple of years for this time. All that stuff is stolen and gone now, you know, and then just to be cast out. <laughs> but here I am, and, um, and again, spirit, for some reason or another, there are certain components of what this process is unfolding that are like stepping stones to the next octave, to the new, to the new, um,
next act of work my new I shouldn't say new but if that I'll just say the next octave of I'll use the term mission you know that my soul and spirit has me on destiny um, it's so interesting because uh, as I'm getting past the the grieving and the like I say the shock and all of that kind of stuff and, and then yeah, all of that go, that goes with it and then kind of acclimating to the new environment you know radar of what's safe what's not safe or safe enough anyway to take the next couple of steps you know all of this stuff um i i do have to say this is the most has been the most um dangerous and deadly segment even though my whole life has been that in many many different environments but this one it, it, this one has culminated to this segment really i suppose to face certain dangers and to face certain of my still my own biases and protect projections of the past you know of how reality was in the past and how I dealt with stuff in the past. Things are completely different now and here. And, um, and so I'm adjusting and, and becoming aware and, um, you know, creating my strategy maybe. Or, or looking at options and, and seeing what um, <laughs> what I'm being guided to. But I still have to make the decisions and get the intuition to, uh, to move forward on these timelines as I move along. And then learn, you know. Oh man, each little step, each little challenge, each little assault, small and big, um, I'm kind of learning from, you know, being blindsided and stuff like that. It's like, oh, okay, oh, okay. You know, it's like, ooh, okay. Kind of waking up and smelling the coffee and, and recalibrating, you know. And in a way, I'm I'm uh, grateful for that, and I'm adjusting, and um, but humbly so. Huh. It's 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 a humbling experience as well. I'm still here. I just wanted to touch base. Um, sorry, the lighting is so subdued, but this is where I'm at, and I just wanted to um, make a note. And, um, you know, have something to look back at. Especially because things are happening so fast. What I like about this is like on my Facebook page, I have, you know, some of the, some of the, the, the little videos that I made of a year ago. And it's fascinating listening to those now, a year later, like going, wow. So assuming, you know, that the Micronova doesn't happen and everything electronic isn't wiped out within the next year and I'm still around kicking it and creating pathways to uh, sovereignty. Then it'd be fascinating to look back on this and anybody 
anybody else who, who may want to um, just kind of review a little bit of my process going through this to learn from it because we're all going every one of us are going to be over these next year two years five years ten years we're all going to be facing calamitous breakdowns all of us and so and we're going to be learning from one another how to navigate those you know with the greatest <laughs> grace and dignity and humility and so um so that's why i make this little video and it's good for me to talk i don't really get a chance to talk much anyway and so <laughs> listen to myself talk look at myself as i'm going through this process so all righty then so that's good where are we? 25th, 20th, is today the 27th? I think so. The 27th, going into Mercury retrograde tomorrow. Oh yeah. All right, Satnam, Wai Guru, Chi Nibre.